Um, Green has had a lot of really dumb stuff to say. From thinking that Muslims don't belong in the country um, to trans people are trying to take over uh, take over the country and um, in, in how like COVID is a psyop and we need to stop doing uh, stop doing this and that. She's a conspiracy theorist through and through. Um, also, she like hinted at also being a 9-11 truther or whatever a little while ago. Maybe she'll like talk on that sometime soon. But she's she's dumb as hell and believes probably every single conspiracy in the book. Let's talk about what she had to say about vaccines and also corporations. Oh, communism or both. I guess we'll find out, huh? Are you a Boy Scout? Yeah. They want you to be required to have something called a COVID passport. And this this would mandate your ability to be able to travel, your ability to be able to go to events, your ability to be able to buy and sell and I asked the question earlier today, is this something like Biden's Mark of the Beast? Because D Mark of the Beast. Do you guys know? So like Mark of the Beast in like Christianity is supposed to be like the mark of people, if I remember correctly, like like a mark on people uh, of like satanic corruption or something along those lines. She's like actually like, oh, yeah, you needing you having a piece of paper saying that you got a vaccination is like the mark the mark of s literal unironic satan the antichrist coming coming in for uh, for the anti rapture or something what is wrong with you where did you get that from biden's mark of the beast is that a mega hat breast mark yes that is really disturbing and um not good you know what's really disturbing people walking around thinking that they don't have to get a vaccine, thinking that they don't have to wear a mask, thinking that they don't have to socially distance while they pass, while they like freaking hop, like uh, happy sack COVID, hot box COVID with each other, making the world worse for all of us and making uh, uh, COVID restrictions last longer, making uh, uh, making the economy sl um, uh, stay uh, closed down, making, uh, still killing people, all of this. I got the mark, I got marked last night. No, the beast, how good is the birth certificate is the mark of the beast. Your birth certificate is the mark of the beast. Um, having an ID to buy alcohol is the mark of the beast. Um, uh, going into your local weed dispensary and picking up uh, dandelions, all right, for uh, for some uh, uh, weed stew um, when you get home. Because that's what people that's what people do with weed, right? That's the mark of the beast. Um, this everything is the mark of the beast. Okay, everything is the mark of the beast. It's it's satanic work, and it makes me feel bad and it's cringe. What's wrong with you? This is so. I mean, the thing is. This is so detrimental, right? When it comes to this sort of stuff, right? Um, it, it, it's just easy to laugh at, but also just think about what she's saying. The people who listen to her think that this is actually going to do damage to them. She's actually just making conspiracy theories off the cuff. She's doing, we're watching a conspiracy be rolled out in real time from one person to another. Mark of the beast. Satanic to get a vaccine to make sure you don't kill someone's grandma. Nice. Oh, if you're going to come into the football game or the baseball game or the concert, or the, you need your vaccine. The football game or the baseball game or the concert game or the recital game, you need a you need a vaccine. Vaccine passport because we're trying to do a good job to keep everyone safe. This is what the Biden administration is trying to talk to these private companies into doing. Well, let's analyze that. You see, it's bro. You can't analyze anything. I know you're not smart enough to, but go ahead. Still the same thing. It's still fascism or communism, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, well, I want to reverse this one more time and let another play again. Same thing. It's still fascism or communism, whatever you want to call it. But it's in it's coming from private companies. So I have a term for that. I call it corporate communism. They want you to. Ah, it's fascism or communism or whatever you call it. Oh, but it's coming from corporations. So I call it corporate communism. You, words have meanings. Words have meanings. They have definitions. They have people know what these words mean. It's written down. You can't just off the cuff create your own definitions for these words. Corporate communism. What sense does that make? Really, uh, I'm really excited for um uh, uh for Amazon to uh, to join uh, to, to be one of our comrades, Comrade Bezos. All right, standing right here to help our 
corporate communism because communism is when you tell people to get vaccines or something. What whatever happened to whatever happened to employers being to, uh, being able to do whatever they want? Being like, we don't want people, the sick, disgusting masses, uh, to bring their filthy diseases around our paying customers. That sounds perfectly reasonable to me. But to her, I guess that's like communism or whatever, because she just doesn't like it. Honestly, her definition of communism probably is things that I don't like or fascism, I guess. Um, on the, uh, it's really interesting how someone would be so permissive and so like flippant with the word fascism after uh, talking about how the Jews have a space laser that uh, that is like causing wildfires in uh, in California. Isn't that really interesting? The Jew the Jewish space laser causing fires in California. What's wrong with you? This is ridiculous. This is not healthy for society at all. No one can say that that it is. This person being able to be just uh, um, her speech being able to be um, brought into the mainstream by the simple fact that she is a representative in the House of Representatives, the federal one. That is incredible. That holds an incredible amount of power and sway. You, she is an elective representative who helps write policy. Now, she doesn't. I know for a fact she has no possible idea how to write policy, and the people under her don't seem like they're uh, they're, they're, they're smart enough to follow her either, but <laughs> to follow her there either. I don't expect too much out of her um, at the moment, but um, uh, but hey, I, I asked, you know, what is this? What's going on here? These words have meaning. You and this is actually you want to talk about fascism. This is exactly what fascists do, when they try to throw around words and play with the de meanings and definitions of words and mess with them as much as possible to where you just confuse people, where you can push your ideology, you can confuse people about uh, what what you mean, what other people mean when they say words. Hitler did this a lot. I mean. He said that he was a he was a socialist, right? I mean, what was his party called? The National Socialist Party? I mean. And when he was asked about socialism, he'd just go on a, a, a tirade about how socialism is is when is when I like I'm I'm the dictator and we kill Jewish people or whatever. It, because the the words they, they it doesn't matter. They have no meaning. You can just throw them around, you can say whatever you want, you can play with them, and you can and they're all for free speech until they're the ones in power and they try and take it all back because allowing other people to speak is nothing uh, that, that's a part of their agenda. Just the idea, this sort of idea of free speech is completely, is extremely liberal, right? They're like, oh, anybody at any point in time can say whatever they want as long as they're not like just explicitly calling for violence. It's an extremely liberal thing, all right? The libs, all right? If, if these people got in power, they'd be very, they'd be very um, uh, curious about uh, their, their, um, uh, their freedom of speech. Marjorie Taylor Greene would absolutely not allow them uh, to speak. I mean, we see conservatives now uh, the way uh, the, uh, the way that they uh, closed down speech. I mean, they're the ones that started cancel culture. Do you think cancel culture started on the left? That's hilarious. No, it was started by the mor moral moralizing, pearl clutching, uh, uh, conser hyper conservative alt right. Right wing. I mean, let's talk. The Nazis were the biggest cancel culture. They even canceled an entire ethnicity. Isn't that interesting? This is ridiculous. This makes no sense. This is steps, hop, skip, and a jump away from her going on to for her, from her going on to like a, a crazy fascist rant. Lots of these people are <laughs> moments away from doing something like that if you just prime them enough to, and maybe they already do in their in their spare time. This is ridiculous. This makes no sense. Yeah, the moral majority, the moral majority and the silent minority that seems to never uh, be able to act uh, as the majority. It's almost like they're just a, they're just a very loud minority in all in all actuality. Literally canceling cancel culture. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> the canceling. It just keeps on going, dude. She needs to stop. All right. The quicker she's out of office, the better this country is in general. Her conspiracy, her, her conspiracy theories about this, that, and the third that's trying to make people's lives better cannot stand. It's not good for a country at all, all right? And getting her out of office and people like Bober and people like, what's this? Madison Cawthorn and Ted Cruz and Tom Cotton and uh, Matt Gates. you know, you may be on his way out already. We'll do, we'll take a, oh my gosh, sorry about that. We'll take us in such a good direction just on that.
just on that. The damage that these people do to the country is immeasurable. Corporate communism. I hate you so much. All right.